All right, let's talk about how to get that render scan into Chief Architect and utilize the CAD to walls feature there to get your uh, scan into uh, your Chief Architect as a fully done as built. So first thing I want to show you is the uh, when you hit the export DXF button on your scan, uh, you're going to be given a list of options here. Uh, these options I'll just briefly overview. Uh, the length unit is um, not really something that you have to be so concerned about in Chief Architect. Chief Architect does recognize inches, meters, feet. So it doesn't really matter which one you select. All you have to do is make sure that whatever you select here, you also select in Chief Architect. They do need to match. The 3D DXF is a function that we're giving uh, AutoCAD users a sketch of a Revit. It doesn't really affect this particular process. These bottom two do though, uh, correct angles and of course the CAD to wall. So correct angles is just something that we caught with uh, our early beta testers. Uh, they mentioned that they were seeing their drawings come through a little unclean. And we called that here ourselves as well, my remodeling company. Uh, so we added the um, autocorrect feature just to make sure that any 89.9 degree walls uh, get self-corrected to 90 degrees. So you get less alerts in Chief Architect. The CAD to walls function here, you definitely wanna make sure this is selected. Uh, this is going to pad the walls so that the uh, line drawing that gets uh, typically exported out of uh, any kind of uh, drawing uh, software like this, that it will pad the walls in a way that Chief Architect's CAD to walls function will actually recognize it. During that padding process, some of the measurements uh, may be a little different than uh, what you see in the app or in real life, uh, but nothing major. You just want to make sure that any particular measurements um, for instance, around a kitchen, you may want to double check uh, the uh, dimensions of the window towards the corner so you make sure that your sink cabinet is lined up correctly. But for the most part, this uh, process is to build your as-built quickly and allow you uh, the opportunity to make some uh, minor adjustments along the way. So let's go ahead and hop in here to Chief Architect. We're going to file and import a DXF file. Now I've already exported my DXF out of render and saved it to my computer, which you'll see right here. Uh, we're going to select this DXF file. Uh, it doesn't matter about lines and polylines. You can select polylines if you'd like to select things and delete uh, objects. Uh, I don't bother with that. I actually just end up turning a lot of these layers off anyway. So speaking of which, here are all of your layers. You want to make sure that all of these are selected so that you can uh, see your drawing and uh, turn these into uh, particular features in Chief Architect. And you want to make sure that it is importing all of the layers separately. You do not want to do this in a single layer, otherwise you will not be able to utilize the Chief Architect CAD to walls tool. Again, Chief Architect recognizes all of these, but we did export in inches, so we want to make sure we're importing in inches. And we're going to wrap that up. So you can see the entire drawing gets put in, and what we'll do is we'll go up to CAD and select CAD to walls. Now here's where we select those layers. So our wall layer is going to be the render walls. And our window layer will be the render windows. And for some reason on the Chief Architect side, we actually don't have to select the, uh, the door layer. For some reason, these come through automatically anyway. We can't figure out exactly why, but uh, something we're actually working with Chief Architect on uh, to end up cleaning these up a little better. But for now, we'll just select those two. And you'll see that it automatically builds uh, this you know, 2,600 square foot drawing in seconds here. Now, one thing that you have to pay attention to is that, of course, there, there are some walls that still end up giving you these alerts. You've got to clean them up a little bit. Uh, this wall actually is straight. Um, so we can easily go around and uh, fix some of these things. The doors are coming through as just openings. So all we really need to do is, you know, select these uh, doors and we'll go ahead and change those just as simply as a couple of clicks of a button here. Just change them to hinge. And at that rate, you can then start to adjust your door swings and your door styles. Uh, same thing with windows as well. You know, these doors down here are actually sliders. And I love the fact that it thought that was a garage door, but these are actually all sliders. So we'll go ahead and change that. And one thing I'd like to note here as well, the some of the openings are not coming through. So there's a doorway opening between the kitchen and the dining room here. So uh, this is something that we caught we we're going to be uh, improving this so that these, this is happening automatically. But I'd love to show you how um, easily it is to fix these is that the CAD layers are still coded in a way that allows the objects to snap to those uh, particular things. So when we go through and drop a uh, doorway into some of these openings, they're actually going to be snapping uh, to the edges of these uh, lines. 
And same thing with toilets uh, and sinks as well. The reason why I leave these on is because I'd love to be able to take measurements. This is a 33 inch vanity. And of course we're getting the two foot nine there. And then the toilet sits here. And if I select a toilet and drop it into my drawing here, um, it will, so my computer is lagging up a little bit. You can center that toilet right inside of that box. And that's exactly where that toilet is in real life. A couple other things that you'd have to clean up again, like I said, some of the walls, uh, you know, it's not pulling up Z planes. So you will have to adjust, you know, wall heights. If you do have uh, default settings, chief architect is just pulling those default settings in uh, on the import process. But for the most part, you know, we, we just want to emphasize that uh, there are some things that you will have to clean up. Uh, like I said, wall heights, some of the off angle walls and some of the doors uh, configurations and things like that. But for the most part, it's getting an entire as built done. Like I said, it's 2,600 square feet and it's getting it done in a matter of a few seconds, giving me the opportunity just to kind of clean up some of the walls, double check some measurements around the kitchen area. I wanna make sure that this wall and this window placement are exactly where they need to be. So I'll have some of those measurements to go off of to begin cleaning that up. But a lot of times when we're doing first floor renos, uh, we are, you know, primarily working in one area unless we're doing a full rehab and it's kind of crazy. The only things we're doing in adjacent rooms are things like flooring and paint, uh, trim, and we really just need uh, overall sizes of those rooms to be able to bid those projects and show them accurately enough on the floor plan. But hopefully this helps you guys. And certainly if you have any questions, if you see any anomalies on your side or have suggested improvements, please reach out to us at support at render.com. Uh, we'd love to hear from our users and uh, continually, in, uh, you know, perfect this process uh, so that we can all, you know, work a little less.